What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again here with another awesome lesson. Today, we're going to look at adding integers using charges to represent our numbers. Our objective today, today I will be able to solve adding integer problems by drawing charges to help me. But first, before we get started, we need to know the basics, right? Zero pairs. Zero pairs are opposite numbers that cancel each other out because they make a zero pair, right? Their two absolute values cancel each other out and bring us back to zero. If you need help with this concept, check out our card up here. We have an awesome uh, zero pair lesson using a number line so you can really see it. But today, we're not using a number line. We're going to be using charges to represent this. Now, some people use counters. I call them charges. Um, really, it's the same thing when you draw it out. But what we need to know is that opposite charges cancel each other out. So if I have a positive charge right here, and then I have a negative charge, these are going to cancel each other out, and we would call that a zero pair because we're talking about integers, okay? So positive and negative cancel each other out because they are zero pairs. So how can we use this, right? How can we use charges or counters to help us understand adding integers? So here are our steps. Step number one, you're going to draw the charges to represent the first addend, right? So that first number that we're starting with, we're going to draw that out. Step number two, we're going to draw the charges to represent the second addend underneath of that, okay? Directly underneath, and I'll show you why that's important. Step number three, we want to eliminate zero pairs if possible. And then step number four, we count the charges or the counters that you have left over after we eliminate these zero pairs. Let's take a look at these steps in action. Okay, so I have three different adding integer problems right here, okay? And I'm gonna show you how you draw out. Now, obviously, we know four plus three is seven. Many of us have been doing that a long time. But my first addend is four, okay? And if it's positive, I'm gonna add or draw four positive chargers. Again, some people call this counters. And then underneath of that, I'm adding three, and I'm adding a positive three. So I'm gonna add three positive charges or counters underneath of that. Now, my next step would be to eliminate anything that is a zero pair. You can see right here, all of these are positive, so I can't eliminate anything. And you can very clearly see that I have seven positive counters left over, which means my answer is a positive seven, or you just write a seven. Let's take a look at example two. I'll do this one in green just so you can see the difference. So here again, I'm starting with four positive charges, and then I want to add three negative charges to that. So directly underneath, I'm going to add three negative charges or three negative counters to that. And if you see, I, I'm lining them up. And I lined these up as well, even though I, didn't, I wasn't able to cancel anything out. You can see right here, I'm lining these up because right here we have a positive and a negative. That's going to cancel each other out. That makes a zero. So I can cancel out this positive and negative, this positive and negative and I'm left with one positive. So four plus a negative three would be a positive one. Let's take a look at this one. Now I'm starting with four negative charges, okay, or four negative counters. So I'm gonna draw out four negative counters. I'm going to add a negative three, right? So I need to add three more negative charges or counters, and I, Next, I need to see, can I cancel anything out, right? Can I make any zero pairs? And I don't have any positive and negative. They're actually all negative, so I can't cancel anything out, which means I'm left just counting. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a negative four plus a negative three would be negative seven. You can learn how to do this on a number line. You can learn how to do it um, using shortcuts. This is a really good way to be able to quickly draw it out and understand what's happening when you're adding integers, whether it's negative integers or positive. All right, here we have some we do problems. So make sure your notes are out and we're gonna be doing these in our notes together. That way you have some examples to look at. So first of all, I always start with my first add in and I have a negative three. So I need three negative charges. And I was going to add to that seven positive charges. There we go, four, five, six, seven. And now when I look at this, I can cancel these out. Those all made zero pairs and I'm left with four positive charges left. So negative three plus seven would be a positive four. Now let's start with a positive five. Okay, there we go. So I have five ch positive charges or five positive counters, and I'm going to add eight negative charges to that. 
And now that I have that, I can see that I can make one, two, three, four, five, zero pairs. Those cancel each other out, and I'm left over with a negative three. So five plus negative eight would leave you with a negative three. I'm starting with a negative four, so I need four negative charges, and I'm adding to that six negative charges. So I'll go back and put my negative sign in each of these. And I can't make any zero pairs, right? Negatives don't cancel each other out. So I'm just going to add these all together. And negative four plus negative six would be negative 10. All right, you are ready for this. This is your you try problems. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pause the video, you're gonna solve these, and then push play to check your understanding. So go ahead and pause the video right now. Hopefully you just pause it and now you're checking this out. So uh, have your work in front of you, check your work as I do it with you. So here I'm gonna start with uh, three positives. There we go. And I was gonna add three negatives to that. So I need to add three negatives. And oh look, I canceled all of these out. I had nothing left over. So three plus negative three would be a zero, right? So three in the opposite of three, which is negative three, make a zero. Check out our negative number playlist if you're confused by that. Here, I'm starting with a negative four, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw this. I have four negative charges, and I wanted to add two more negative charges to that. And so when I did that, one, two, three, four, five, six, I had six left over because I could not cancel anything out or make any zero pairs, so negative four plus negative two is negative six. And then my last one, I, I'm starting with five negative charges, and I'm going to add seven positive charges to that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put my plus sign here for all of those. There we go. And when I did that, now I can see I can cancel out. I can make five zero pairs, and I have two positive charges left over. So negative five plus a positive seven would be a positive two. So a couple things I want you to take away from this before we review our steps. Hopefully you got that right. If not, don't worry, it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. First of all, make sure you start with your first number. Now in addition, that doesn't necessarily matter because we have a commutative property of addition. But when we get to subtraction, you do have to start with that first number. So it's always good just to be doing the same thing over and over again. It just makes it easy for us to remember and we don't have to do a lot of that extra thinking about what number I need to start with. Always draw your first add-in first, okay? The another thing I wanna point out again is just being neat as you draw them and that way when you cancel out, you can very clearly see the uh, zero pairs, these opposite charges that cancel each other out right on top of one another. So it's easier to see than if you just draw them all over the place. So being neat is normally the hardest part about math and we wanna make sure that we are being neat and following our steps, which are when you're adding integers using charges or counters, Number one, draw the charges to represent that first add-in. We just talked about that, right? Number two, draw the charges to represent the second add-in underneath. That way they're lined up vertically. Number three, eliminate any zero pairs if possible. And step four, after you eliminate those zero pairs, if you can, you want to count the charges that you have left over. Thank you so much for checking us out today. We really appreciate it. We know there's lots of different options online, so we appreciate you spending your time with Instructive Beats. We would love for you to uh, like the video, comment, let us know where you're watching from. We'd love for you to subscribe and join our Instructive Beats family. Again, thank you so much. Instructive Beats, out.